Welcome to the Graham Miller Show. I'm Sam Murray, joined with head men's soccer coach Graham Miller. And coach, tough tough two games for you last week, but your guys fought hard. Heartbreaker against Randolph-Macon in overtime, and then uh, scoreless tie against Catholic. Yeah, you know, it was, uh, you know, we're learning, you know, we're a young, young team and, uh, you know, been, you know, trying to change some things up this year. And uh, the big thing, you know, the positive from uh, the last two games um, is the fight. You know, these guys are not giving up, you know, they're battling hard. Uh, you know, we had the overtime game, you know, before Randolph making against York, which we went 110 minutes and nil-nil and, and after uh, the Gettysburg uh, game. And then Randolph making coming in with, uh, you know, hadn't conceded a goal and, and we're on a win streak and, you know, I think we gave them a pretty good scare and, and just unfortunate. We just kind of went to sleep a little bit, you know, in the 99th minute. It's hard to fault the guys. And, and obviously they finished their chance and, and, and got the win. Um, the Catholic game, you know, was a hot, miserable day. And our guys, I think, uh, but but the guys, you know, that's 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 the sign of improvement. You know, we didn't lose that game. You know, Catholic's a good team who had just tied with a top 10 team, Haverford, the week before 1-1. So for us not to concede a goal against them and, and to really battle with them I was I was impressed with the uh, performance uh, in both games talking about those two games what do you want your team to kind of work on and take away from those two games and maybe clean up a little bit well, the big thing is, you know, we didn't we, we conceded one goal, you know, and uh, we've conceded one goal in 319 minutes. Um, you know, that's a that's a positive that you know we're 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 working hard on defense, we're blocking shots. Um, obviously, Jake Brown's making saves when he needs to make the saves, and um, you know that's a positive. The big thing we need to work on, obviously, is we need to uh, score goals. Uh, we need to take shots. You know, I think we had five shots against Catholic, and it wasn't because we weren't in their half. Um, you know, we we had opportunities to shoot the ball and guys didn't want to take it so uh you know a practice yesterday and practice tonight we're gonna keep working on putting the ball in the back of the net we got to be hungry so i think we've figured out defensively how we want to play uh now we've got to figure out how we're going to score goals and win games and so that's a big thing that we we've obviously we understand from these two games we didn't we didn't score and we need to find ways somebody has to step up and i said it after my interview uh, against randolph making somebody has to step up and put the ball in the back of the net we talked about it last week. We'll talk about it again. Another tough two games for you guys. Your home versus Salisbury. Men's soccer hasn't played them since 2011, but talking to two of those guys, they're they're excited for this game. They kind of see it almost as a rivalry, even though they haven't played them yet. Yeah, I'm actually um, I'm happy that we're we've got Salisbury back in the schedule. It's, it's a game that I would like to play every year. It's a local rival. It's um, you know an old CAC foe, and um, you know so it is good to get them back on the schedule. And and they've got a new coach who's just been there a couple of years, and um, so it's going to be a big one again tomorrow night. And you know there's no easy games on the schedule. We've talked about this in previous interviews, which is perfectly fine. It's the only way we're going to get better to prepare for uh, the top teams in, in the MAC. So uh, we're excited for Salisbury. I'm excited for Salisbury. It's also giveaway night, people. Um, so the first 150 fans get a giveaway. So we got to make sure we plug that. Um, so yeah, I, I just it would be great to get as many people as possible. It's, it's Salisbury. It's a rival, rivalry game for the school, I think, as well. Um, so it'd be great to get a huge support tomorrow night uh, for that game before we hit the road against Wilkes on the weekend. Yeah, so you already touched on it. You uh, then travel to Wilkes on Saturday, and that's a team that's been uh, tough, uh, you know, two tough games in the past two years. What do you expect to happen or see in that game? Yeah, I think it was uh, I think it was one nothing they beat us up at their place a couple of years ago, and last year I think we beat them three two, and all the goals were scored in the first like twenty five minutes or something. So uh, that's going to be tough. You know, it's always you know a three hour road trip. You know, we've got to make sure that we get off the bus and uh, we put a good performance in. You know, these are basically our last two big games to you know for a lot of guys to show before we go into Albright next week and start conference play. So uh, Wilkes will be another good test and um, another test on the road and. Um, a, a Mac opponent, um, so to speak. So we're we've just got to be ready to come off the bus after that trip, and and uh, guys really show well heading into Albright next week. Oh, well, we wish you the best of luck in both those games. And like he said, they're home Wednesday nights, a President's game, giveaway game, big game versus Salisbury. So come out and support. He's Graham Miller. I'm Sam Murray, and you've been watching the Graham Miller Show.